So get to be home with DBT and you. On today's show, we have another trivia question. Larry Pino and Russ Melrup rinks take the McDonald's Sports Spotlight. The Lakehead University Northwestern's women's basketball team will be out to prove it's still the best in the West. We'll take a look at this year's edition of the Northwesters. The Warwood Lakers continue to battle the Twins for first place in the Cash League. We'll find out why the Lakers are so strong this year. And John's special guest is New Jersey Devils forward Walt Padubny. Walt is home recovering from knee surgery. Welcome to another edition of Play by Play. A special guest today, Walt Padubny, who is home recovering from knee surgery, surgery that you had on December 19th. Walt, uh, you thought last year you'd be playing after uh, you had the injury, but that was not the case. Uh, how frustrating has it been for you sitting out? Uh, well, John, it's been, uh, you know, it's been exceptionally frustrating, uh, as you say, because when it originally happened last year, it cost me, you know, the last part of last season. And, uh, you know, I thought that through physical rehab, I would be able to to play this year, play this year, and uh, you know, and, pl and play up to par. But uh, as it turns out, I was unable to play not, not only up to par, but just play. Period. I was having trouble, and and it uh, you know, it reached a point where I was uh, I was it was just too painful to use. And after uh, a second opinion, you know, that's when we decided that in the long run it'd be better if I fixed it. For hockey fans out there that are wondering how soon will Walt Pudubny be back in a Devils uniform? Well, there's an outside chance that, uh, you know, if all goes well and I heal quickly, uh, and of course, depending on how we do in the playoffs, uh, there is a chance I can play in the playoffs. <laughs> to join us every Wednesday night as we spotlight the region's best. A scintillating showcase of local and area entertainers. Be sure to join us this week for Gibson, Martin and I, Ken Moore, Graham and Friend, Classical and Jenna Podlutsky. That's coming up Wednesday night at 7 on Spotlight with Glenn and Ginny Jennings. Brought to you by Basil McDonald Keyboard Center on CHFD Channel 4, Cable 6. You know, I'm 30 years old now and uh, this will be my 10th year in the National League and I'm already bucking the odds, so I figure that if I can, uh, if the knee holds up, it'll be great. And if it doesn't, uh, you know, if I have to have it rebuilt, then uh, then I'm just going to have to shoot for next year. Well, Padubny had uh, major knee surgery on his knee on December 12th, and maybe Walt uh, can explain exactly what they did. Uh, well, John, to put it, uh, to keep it short and simple, what, basically what they did was they took a uh, part of my tendon out of the front of my knee, and uh, along with the bone segments out of each end, I reattached it through the back of my knee um, uh, where the torn ligament was originally. And that's going to, uh, apparently that should not weaken, you know, the front of my knee, but that should stabilize, uh, that ligament should be strong, as strong if not stronger than the original. Now you said you could possibly be back playing when the playoffs rolls around, but uh, I guess that would be a good scenario. The worst is that you sit out the whole season. Um, what are your plans for the NHL? You got one more year left on your contract. Uh, are we going to see Walt Padubny around the NHL for three, four more years? Well, we have uh, expansion coming up, John. So I, I you know, that's. Uh, I look at it. Uh, I have one year left on my contract. So uh, you know, whether I whether I'm in Jersey next year or wherever I, I will be, um, what I'm going to do is try and do my best, of course, and have as good a year as I can because of the fact that uh, you know, following that, there's going to be two expansion teams. And also San Jose will be in next year. So there's three teams that are going to be looking for players. And uh, I think an old, old goal scorer with a little mileage might, uh, might generate some interest. The interest is there. Plus, there is also a lot of interest for players going to Europe at this stage. And you mentioned that earlier. But how much do you want to stay in the NHL? You had three great back-to-back -back years aside from the past two injury seasons where you scored close to 40 goals three times. In the back of the, your mind, do you still want to go out there and prove that you can still do that? Uh, well, yes, of course. You know, there's uh, the pride definitely comes into it. You, uh, you know, I feel that the last two years have been, oh, well, they have been write-offs because of injuries, and uh, I feel that I can still play at that, uh, if not a 40 goal, 35, 30 goal level. And I, I of course, uh, when I and if when and if I do decide to leave the NHL, it will not be an easy decision. But uh, the European situation right now is 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 looking very good. It's, uh, you know, they're. Con they're giving out pretty good contracts now, and of course uh, the schedules are a lot shorter. 
you know, and you don't have to deal with a very stressful life that uh, NHL life can be sometimes. How many more years can you play in the NHL? You say it is stressful. I mean, there's a lot of grind to the game. Yeah, well, you know, I think that uh, there is a lot of grind to it, and, and you know what happens once you get older? You have to, uh, <laughs> you have to rely more on experience, uh, mm -hmm. you know, than uh, than actual physical talent. And uh, I don't know. I think that uh, I think that uh, including next year, I would like to play. If I decide to play in the NHL, it'll be another two, hopefully two years, and then I'll deal with the situation. But uh, as I say, two would be, uh, if I got two more, I would be happy. And if I decided to go to Europe next year, then, you know, then I obviously I'll be happy with that decision too. No regrets about the NHL, though you've had a great career 10 years. Yeah, I feel that I've, uh, you know, I've had a, a great career and I have no regrets. Uh, the NHL has been a great life for me. And, and uh, you know, it's more or less a kickstart for my life, uh, you know, with the, the obvious monetary rewards, you know. Uh, obviously, my, you know, I'd be able to... Uh, Says, set a little something aside and uh, of course uh, all the people you meet over the years and and just the things you're able to do and uh, I don't really have any regrets at all. Now as far as uh, goals, I guess winning the Stanley Cup would be the ultimate goal for you. What has been the greatest moment in sport as far as playing hockey goes for you? Well I think as you say the ultimate uh, would for me would be obviously the Stanley Cup. I think that if I if we won a Stanley Cup, even if, it's, if it was this year and I wasn't playing, you know I'd be there and I think then then I could say, well, this is a cap or this is it, and and I'm I'm happy, you know, I'm just happy that uh, this is like the, the icing on the cake. But uh, I think uh, in the same respect, the, the greatest moments for me have been in the playoffs. You know, when I was with Toronto, uh, I had a good couple of good playoffs, and those are the moments that just the intensity and the excitement level is so high, and the adrenaline is flowing that uh, there's really no way to explain it, and uh, nothing that compares with it. Now you also got to play in the All-Star game uh, two years ago with uh, when you were with the Quebec Nordiques. Uh, how did you uh, relate that to maybe uh, your whole hockey career? Well, that was a definite, uh, you know, that was one of the definite high points of my career as well. Uh, it's a little different because the intensity level is really not there. What that is 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 basically uh, a chance to meet some of the superstars uh, over the years that maybe you haven't met or and also get a chance to play with some players that uh, you'll ne otherwise never get a chance to play with. And, uh, and with its format, it is exciting because that's when they can really excel and show their abilities. And uh, to be part of that and to be considered you know, in that group is uh, definitely an honor. What is, uh, the, what is in life after hockey for Walt Pudubny? Uh, well, as I mentioned <laughs> to you earlier, I'd like to maybe get into uh, some form of sports casting, you know, whether it be commentary or whatever. But I've also got a few other interests in uh, Toronto um, that I've had all along and uh, they, there's there to fall back on but uh, we really haven't made a decision yet and that decision uh, you know will come depending on what happens with the knee and what happens with uh, my decision whether to play a few more years in the NHL or in Europe. Now what's your immediate uh, schedule and what are you going to be doing in the next uh, couple months? Well, I'll be leaving, uh, heading back to Jersey in about a week and a half, and then uh, we can start uh, heavy physical rehab and uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, get better in time for the playoffs. Well, thanks for being on the show today, Walt. Uh, everybody I know will be glad to hear your words and uh, wishing you all the best luck in recovery. Great. Thanks a lot, John. Glad to be here. That's play-by-play -play for this week.